What is up, everybody? It is Brian with First Shot Tactical, back with another video for you here today. And guys, I gotta tell you, fixed stocks are back in. Retro is a vibe. So for today's video, I will be showing you and unboxing here the uh, UTG A2 Fixed Butt Stock Kit for an AR-15, and we will be installing this here. Um, as you can see by the picture here, man, like I said, it is a vibe and retro is in right now, ladies and gentlemen. So I think this looks cool. You're going to see how cool it looks um, once we get this installed. So with that, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. Welcome over to the mat here. Let's go ahead and get this guy unboxed here. So uh, pretty simple packaging here. Uh, we just got to cut the tape first and get it open. Very cool. Nothing else in the box. Let's go ahead and get this out of the plastic as well. All right, with everything out of the package here, here's what it comes with. We have our actual stock here, as you can see, which looks great here. Even has the rear plates for uh, storage there. And then inside it was this tube here. And you can see here it says uh, this cap just is holding the buffer and spring. Point it in a safe direction so we can go ahead and unscrew this and not let this shoot off like that. <laughs> so we can hold that here. I'm going to go ahead and leave our spring. And we should have a buffer in here. Yep, there we go. There's our... Uh, full buffer the longer one and then here's our tube as well so we'll set these aside and then also you have this uh basically nut here that'll go on the inside first to go ahead and secure the screw and then here is that screw the rear one to go ahead and secure it to the buffer tube when we're ready to install so that's everything it comes with let's actually go ahead and get this installed now all right let's go ahead and get this bad boy installed here you can see i have my uh ripped apart lower here that is ready for a buffer tube and a new stock so let's go ahead and get this installed all right so the first thing we want to do is let's get our detent spring and our buffer tube spring and retainer in so i already dropped my detent into this hole there um, and then now I have my spring here, which is a little jank, but that's all right. It'll still work. I'm going to feed this down into the hole here. So that is set. So again, there was a little, uh, detent down in there. You can see it right there. I already put that in. Now we have our spring and then up top here, we're going to go ahead and loosely install the spring and buffer tube retainer right here into this hole on top right there. Like so, so both of those are just loosely in now. With both of those loosely in, now we are ready to grab the uh, buffer tube that was provided here. And I'm just going to start by screwing that in. All right. And then as we get close to the buffer tube detent, as you can see here, let me zoom in a little bit. As we get closer to this, we do want to push this down with our thumb and then screw it in so that way it captures just half of it like so you can see just a little bit on it actually i might be able to screw it a little more nope that's it actually right there so right there it's perfect now it's captured and we're good to go from that end next thing we want to do now that we have this in the right place is torque this down a little bit here um there's no really torque spec that i know that you're supposed to tighten this to but just get a good grip on it um i actually took this off camera threw this in my vice real quick i used um, I don't think this is the right size, but it was real close. So I said good enough, a 17 millimeter um, on this rear end and then went ahead and just gave it a good oomph to make sure that it is secure. So go ahead, tighten that down with the end on the rear part of the buffer tube and then you should be all set there. With the buffer tube all tight on there now, the next thing we wanna do is grab this guy and I, sorry, I don't know the actual name for this, but basically it's the piece that's gonna go on the end here like this, but it goes inside of your stock. So the best way I found to install this is actually drop this, make sure and do it this way, not this way, this way, um, into your stock, like so, so it's down in there. And then now we're going, we're gonna go ahead and actually install the whole stock on the buffer tube. One thing to note is as we're doing this, you can see on this side here is you do have that rear detent spring. So just make sure it's going in evenly like so. So we could see it went in straight. It's not popping out or anything. So that way it stays secure. The next step after that is hold all this together because it might want to try and come undone. Grab the screw that's provided and then go ahead and install it on the rear part of the stock. And then again, once you get it started there, grab a screwdriver like this here, and then go ahead and tighten that screw into the stock. 
All right, pretty tight. Awesome. So once you do get that screw in, just make sure that it's real tight. I guess you could put some Loctite on that before you put it in, just a heads up there. But once you have that, take a look at this. Pretty cool. Very retro. It's a vibe, the fixed stock. So now you are all set and good to go. Just make sure that your rear takedown pin clicks into place and clicks that way. Perfect. So that works well. And then the last thing to do here is actually install our buffer spring and tube. So go ahead and do it with the spring side going inward, like so. Give it a push in, get over the hammer here. And there we go, now it's retained in there. Perfect. Definitely uh, for any new buffer tube, I like to spray a bunch of like gun, gun oil or gun synthetic oil, spray some lubricant in there. Um, you definitely want everything to move freely. So I'm actually going to take this back out, spray it real good inside the buffer tube, let it drip out and then reinstall this. So just a quick note there as far as a tip. But other than that, man, that is a fun vibe there. I'm excited to put the upper on here and get this complete very retro. And I know that's in right now. So Hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, like and subscribe to the channel. Always appreciate that. Got a bunch of other how-to videos up for you to check out. If you have questions, let me know down in the comments as well. I'm always happy to help down there. Until next time, have fun shooting, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody.